Hello. Recruitment industry benchmarking, the RIB index. Just let me give you a little introduction first. Benchmarking is a well-established tool for management in industry generally, very highly regarded. It's something which people recognize helps enormously if you're going to try and measure your performance, if you measure it externally as well as internally. Ten years or so ago, I was asked as a non-exec if I could try and get some research done to find out how the company we were working together on was, what was standing within the industry. How was it performing within this industry as a whole? Were there any benchmarks uh, that we could apply? And very quickly, it became clear there were no industry benchmarks. There's a big benchmarking index, but the index had about 83 measurements in it, and only about five were truly relevant to recruitment. So I decided that I would set up and start a new industry-specific recruitment benchmarking index. And that's what the RIB index is. It provides, first of all, total confidentiality with password protection of the information that you feed into the index. And the information that you feed into the index is then translated and ranked against the rest of the index so you see how you perform on a number of, the word is criteria, measurements, if you like, that are applied. In this case, we have 35. What that then does is to provide you with access to current market intelligence. If you imagine you're an athlete, keen to try and improve your performance, and you go off running around a track, if you like, and you measure your time, and you find that over a few weeks your time is getting better and better, and you're really getting quite impressed and quite pleased with yourself, until, of course, you then come to a competition where some more athletes are running around the track with you. And then you discover whether your time, which you, is the best you've ever done, is actually any good at all, or indeed very good, once you know you're competing against other people. And of course, in business, we're always competing with other people. So what this does is it provides you with access to current market intelligence. And that's current market intelligence, essentially current. You could say, well, we could compare with all the recruitment companies at Companies House. Yes, you could. But two things are wrong with that. One is that the information could be as much as 18 months out of date. And secondly, the information that's available at Companies House is very, very general, not at all specific, and certainly doesn't contain the sort of metrics that you need to measure in a management of a, of a recruitment business. So it is a management tool to drive performance. It is not an academic exercise. It is something which needs to be used, it needs to be developed, and it needs to be monitored per continually. Those people who have recognized the benefit of the RIB index and become members represent a cross-section of the industry, and it's a cross-section about which I really am quite proud, because, for instance, in the 2010 and 11 IRP awards, over 50% of the winners were RIB members. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think these are the enlightened people who do a very good job in their business and recognize the value of benchmarking within the industry. And they've also gained a number of other awards for top 500, fast, gra fast group, best companies to work for, all those sorts of things. A very high proportion of them are recruitment businesses and of those are RIB members. So it's all about enhancing the performance, enhancing the profitability and the shareholder value of your business. It's proved to work. It really has proved to work. We have got testimonials, far too many to name and number, but let me just give you two. The first one, very early on, the quote is, we saved 250,000 pounds by acting on just one insight provided in our RIB reports. And that was Richard Grace of Gordon Yates. And the second one is a rather longer quote, so I'll read it to you. We recently successfully marketed and sold our recruitment business. There is no doubt that our RIB data proved a valuable objective measurement of our success. 
and it helped to attract potential acquirers. We're convinced that it helped us focus on improving KPIs prior to marketing the business and provided solid evidence of our achievement of those KPIs against external competitors. We would unreservedly recommend RIB as a crucial management tool to anyone who wants to improve their performance and or groom themselves for successful exit. That was Mark Farris of Judd Farris. So how does the RIB index work? Well, first of all, it's web-based. And our members log in at www.ribindex.com. And what they do is to feed in information, all of which is covered in a separate section of videos, feed in information to a set format from their business. And that is fed in each month. And there's a regular cutoff of each month so that the example would be that it's on the first Friday of the month and that is the cutoff and the reports will then come out the following Monday. That cutoff means that the inputs have to stop at that point and the emails are sent out to remind people to meet the deadline because if you don't put your input in, you're not going to get the input out. And approximately five weeks after a month end, that information is gathered, so it gives everyone a chance of up to five weeks to gather their management information from the end of a month before its cutoff date to feed in to RIB. So, for example, the September report actually was available on the 5th of November, five weeks after the end of September. It's very quick to input. You input raw information from your management accounts, and once you've got the thing set up, it typically takes about 15 minutes a month to feed that information in. You then received your, you receive your monthly reports, which are personalized, fully confidential and secure. And they're clear, user-friendly reports because it enables you to focus very quickly on key areas. And if they should, you be, as indeed they should be used are as a regular part of your management reporting cycles, so that at the board meetings, for instance, you have all your normal stuff that you're covering, but also one of the items on the board meeting each month should be your RIB index reports and what they've told you and what you're going to concentrate on and so on. More of that, again, are non in separate videos. And what this means is it adds real value. It's not just information. It is performance against current best practice, and it creates a culture of challenge and improvement. So what are the benefits of the RIB index to you as a member? Well, the membership is proven to work, and it delivers real benefits by, first of all, identifying and quantifying your business strengths and weaknesses. It highlights opportunities for improving process and removing costs. It gives you the opportunity to focus the business in the key areas that drive real improvements. In other words, to pull the right levers. And it enables management to implement rapidly informed decisions and act before the competition does, because you're ahead of the game. It also promotes a culture of evaluation and continuous improvement within the business. It does undoubtedly help to enhance your profitability and the shareholder value of your business. And finally, it provides a vital current external perspective to give a true measure of that business value. 